Hello everyone, today I will show you how to fix Steam Workshop downloader not working problem. Before moving on to the video, you can support me by liking the video and deliver this video to people who are looking for this video like you, let's start. Before we move on to our first solution, we need to check our internet and game files. We open Chrome to check our internet. Then we enter a site where we can check our internet speed, such as speed test, and check our internet. We checked our internet, now it's time to check our game. We find our game on the library page and right click it. After right click, we go to properties. Click on local files on the left. Now we click on verify integrity of game files to verify our game files. After waiting for a while, the verification process of our game files is completed. Now we can move on to our first solution. Our first solution is to use big picture mode. The reason we do this is that the mod files we download sometimes do not appear in the downloads section. To open big picture mode, we click on big picture mode at the top right. We turned on big picture mode. Now we click on library to see our downloads. Then click on downloads on the left. Since I am not downloading a mod right now, this place is empty, but if you are downloading a mod, you can see the mod you downloaded here. If we want to turn off big picture mode, we click on the back arrow at the top left. Then we click the power button and click exit big picture. This was our first solution. If this solution did not work for you, we will move on to our second solution. Our second solution is clear download cache. To do this, we click on Steam in the upper left. Then we go to Settings. Then we come to the Downloads section. And we click on Clear Download Cache to clear cache files. After doing this, we need to re-enter our Steam account. After entering your Steam username and password, you can check if the error is solved. If the error is not solved, we will move on to our third solution. Our third solution is to turn off Steam Beta. To do this, we click on Steam from the top left and enter settings. Then we set the beta participation as none opt out of all beta programs by clicking change in the account section. Then click OK to close this place. Now you can check if the error is solved. If the error is not solved, we will move on to our fourth solution. Our fourth solution is to download the mod through Chrome, not Steam. For this, we click on the mod we want to download with the scroll wheel of our mouse and open our mod in another window. Then we copy the link of our mod. Now we need to enter the Steam Workshop downloader to download our mod. I put the link of this site in the description section, you can enter the site from there. After entering our site, we paste the link of our mod. and click download. After waiting for a while, we downloaded our mod without any problems. Now we get this zip file on our desktop. Now we right click on our file and click extract all. Now we will put our mod file into our game. This part may differ depending on the game you are playing. If you're having trouble finding the file to put the mod on, don't forget to get help from the internet. First of all, we close Steam. Now we click on File Explorer and from here we will enter the disk where Steam is installed. If you don't know where Steam is installed, it's probably on disk C. After entering our disk, we enter Program Files x86. Then click on Steam. From here we enter Steam Apps. Click on Workshop. Then we click on Content. And we found our file, this is where we put our mod. As I said, this part may be different for you, you need to pay attention to it. If you are having problems in this part, 
do a little research on the internet about where you can find the mod file of the game you are playing. We put our mod into our file. Now you can open the game and check if the error is solved. Before I end the video, there is one more solution that I would like to mention. Uninstalling and reinstalling Steam may resolve the error you're getting. It will be good for you if you back up the games you have installed before uninstalling Steam. Because if you do not back up your games and uninstall Steam, the games you have installed with Steam will also be deleted. We have come to the end of our video. I hope these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care and see you in the next video.